Hello and welcome to another episode of Fine Arts with Bessem. Uh, last time we left off at this point here, where we started with the eyes. Uh, we started coloring in the eyes. Now we're going to get into a little bit more detail in this area than what we've already done and make our way down. Okay. So we'll just get my fine tipped brush here. are looking pretty good. If not, I can come back and just touch them up a little bit more. Okay. Now back to blocking in the highlights and the low lights and shades. Okay, so I'm gonna highlight the nose a little bit more. Now you can do the highlighting in layers. So you can put a little bit of white, let it dry a little, and come back and put some more if you want. Now the outline of the face, we actually get to control with the, uh, using the background color. So we can impose on the face using the background color um, to get the, the nice shape you want. touch of pink in the corner of the eye here. Okay. And outline the pupil a little bit. So I'm going to make a little bit more of the skin tone. Pinks, oranges, and yellows. And browns. And I'm going to continue down with the face here. Every once in a while you want to kind of zoom out just to see that you're kind of on track. You can pick up most of the mistakes that way as well. Okay. And I'm gonna add in a little bit more of the browns. Remember, you want to go over the beard and the mustache with the colors you're doing for the, uh, for the face. That way you can overlap the hair on top of the, the, the skin. Where it's a little bit lighter, so use my lighter brush. 
It's always a blessing to paint a portrait of Christ. Of course I get, or at least I feel like I get better and better every time I make one of these portraits. Better and faster. The part's really dark. So you want to put that color just where it overlaps the face itself, where you think the chin might be. It just avoids any of the, um, the bumpiness of the grain, uh, and it avoids them uh, being left unpainted. Very easy to do so with canvas because it's got a lot of grooves, and you really got to get in there. Okay, at this point I'm actually going to start uh, taking care of the eyebrows a bit, especially the one on the left. I'm actually going to use the tip of this brush here to, uh, to do the hairs. And you actually want to move the brush in the direction of um, the hair itself. Again, the eyebrows are a little bit inconsistent, so you want to kind of leave it at that. making the shade around his nose a little darker. Makes it that much more interesting. And blending in the edge between the light and the dark. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna do a little bit more of this blocking here. And that of course being putting in um, the darks, roughly. Can make it a little more runny. All right. Well, I'm gonna continue on with the neck here. At this point, it looks extremely unfinished, but it looks like this at this point. So we'll continue on, continue on next time. I'm just gonna take care of the uh, neck for now. But I will see you guys next time.